Hey guys, I'm back with another VEDA. I know I fell off, it's been a few days, and I haven't posted a new video, but I'm back. Uh, there's still a few more days left in August, so I'm trying to hang in there, but it's really tough to think up content every single day um, that's worthy of uh, vlogging about. So I really have to give it up to all the YouTube uh, video bloggers who find something every day to vlog about. Um, that's just tough. But today's uh, Veda is about sleep. You know, um, like getting enough sleep. So for the last couple of weeks, I have really been like struggling um, with getting enough sleep. I'll be, you know, I'll go to bed. I already go to bed too late. Um, because for one, I'm a night owl. Number two, I'm a blogger. <laughs> and I also have a full-time job. So, you know, the blogging is like, they always advise you to like set office hours, like when you go to conferences and things like that. Uh, but it's really hard because you always, there's always something you should be doing. There's always blogs that you should be reading or people's emails you should be um, responding to or Facebook posts, Twitter posts, Instagrams, all that, things that you, you could be doing at any time. And usually I'm doing some of that in the evening after work and the time gets away from me. Um, and I'll find myself falling asleep when I should be, um, I don't know, relaxing. And then I'll finally say, okay, time to go to bed. And then I'll go to bed and I'm wide awake. And it'll take a while to fall asleep. And then I'll wake up an hour or two later. I've just been tossing and turning. So that's been going on the last couple of weeks. And probably because I have a lot on my mind. If you saw um, the last baby making video that I posted, things haven't been going as well as I'd hoped. And, you know, having to sit out cycles just kind of depressing a little bit and makes you kind of worried and anxious about well, what's going to happen in the future. Is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? So that's been on my mind. Um, you know, my mom has been battling like a long-term illness for a while. So that's always something that is, you know, at the front of my mind, how she's doing. Things at work lately have been a little more annoying than usual. Uh, you might have saw my VEDA the other day about where I was about to lose it at work and I had to, you know, go outside and kind of center myself. Um, so it's just been a lot of things on my mind and I hadn't been sleeping well. And then something that happens to me, I don't know if you guys, if you haven't been sleeping well, then if you wake up in the middle of the night, you start to get stressed about the not sleeping um, for a long time, I used to not have a visible clock in my bedroom, but when I redesigned my um, living space to make room for my future bundle of joy, uh, the room I'm in now, the, the cable that's in here, the time shows on the cable box. So sometimes I'll see that, and then that'll make me more anxious, like, oh my gosh, it's 3 o'clock, oh, it's 4.30, and so just haven't been getting enough sleep. So... You know the last couple of weeks and then I would go to work and I noticed I, I had some days where I just felt really down and like kind of weepy you know like you're on the verge of tears but you really don't know why and I was chalking a lot of it up to you know hormones um, maybe a little PMS which is something I never really dealt with but um, I was on the the birth control pill for a lot of years and now if you're trying to get pregnant I'm not on there so I thought okay well maybe I you know have a little PMS that I didn't used to experience before um or just feeling stressed in general so sometimes I would take like a half of Benadryl to help me go to sleep and um when I would see a pattern of me not sleeping for a few days and yesterday my mom suggested that I get some of those like um Kind of like NyQuil, but without the medicine part, just the sleepy part to make you go to sleep. So I said, I'll try that. So I did that last night. I just got a generic store brand. 
and it did help i did wake up during the night but i tried to stay calm and not really look at the clock and i did fall back to sleep and this morning when i woke up i felt kind of okay but still a little tired so i decided okay maybe i'll just go in to work a little bit late and i let myself sleep for another maybe like 45 minutes and i woke up and i felt so good and i got to work and i was like cheerful and i felt ready to work and i was you know productive and i was not feeling weepy i did not fall asleep at my desk at all even though you know i ate some stuff with carbs in it and usually if i eat anything with carbs especially um i'm just sitting at the desk which can be kind of boring you know working your desk job and if you're not talking to people i might feel myself falling asleep but none of that happened and I have to chalk it up to the fact that I actually got a pretty decent night's rest last night. So, you know, even though it's, it's obvious, you know, people say that all the time, but who knew, you know, sleep really does have that much of an impact on things. I really did not think that me feeling weepy and kind of down had anything to do with the fact that I was just tired um, until today when I didn't feel any of that. And the only thing that was different was that I got sleep, you know. Nothing changed with the work situation, nothing changed with the baby making situation, nothing changed, you know, in terms of, you know, my mom and her dealing with her long term illness. Nothing changed. The only thing that was different was that I got enough sleep. So I guess here, that is my lesson and my testimony that sleep matters. Try to get enough sleep. I'm going to try to do better at getting to bed earlier. Uh, which has always been the challenge for me uh, and I'm really going to try to get enough sleep and not that I'm advocating taking like a sleep aid all the time but one thing that I don't want to do is develop habits of insomnia and so I'd rather take a sleep aid every now and then just to make sure I don't get into that habit of not sleeping than to go you know lots of time without sleeping plus I feel so much better today so Anyway, that's today's VEDA and my two cents about getting enough sleep. And I guess sleep really does make you feel more joyful. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you get enough sleep? How do you, Can you function if you don't? If, uh, if you are going through a sleep-deprived time, how are you getting by? You know, leave me some info in the comments. And uh, like I said in all my other VEDAs, if you're doing VEDAs, let me know in the comments so I can come and check out your videos and we can support each other in these last few days of August. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.